as the TV show House was famed for saying, everyone lies, always. The eighth rule of life is, or should be, standard practice for all of us. Tell the truth, it says, or at least don't lie. Now, I think that little caveat at the end is there because we're all going to lie. We all lie all the time, but mainly we lie to ourselves. We reinforce what we like to consider positive and we often just simply ignore that which is negative. And that then feeds back into rules number one, two, three, and four. And so in this list that Dr. Peterson has produced, he has also created an interaction between different rules to strengthen each other as they build towards the betterment of the human being. As the TV show House was famed for saying, everyone lies, always. Because we want to hide that inner part of ourselves from everyone else. We are ultimately ashamed of who we really are most of the time. And so we tell lies to project a better image so that people think more highly of us, so that our standing in life can be improved. That can separate us ultimately from reality. Like the boy who cried wolf, we lose all trust with those that we need to share trust. We are not trustworthy because those things that we have said about ourselves can be demonstrably proved wrong. And unless we are choosing our friends who are really looking for the best in us, and we are examining our consciences and comparing ourselves to who we were yesterday and not with some arbitrary figure outside, we can very easily lock ourselves up in our own echo chamber where our lies simply become expedient means to get what we want rather than what we need. And therefore, an attempt to tell the truth is an attempt to engage in reality again and not to descend into madness. And at least don't lie. If we can't confront reality, because reality is scary sometimes, there are just truths out there that are just too big to contemplate. We at least acknowledge that fact by not lying about them. We simply say, I don't know. It's too big. I don't know the answer. And in doing so, we humble ourselves again and touch reality as it really is, not as we would prefer it to be.